Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall study the concept of how data collected can be represented such that it describes its center, spread and overall shape. First of all, we shall understand the concepts of center, spread and overall shape. Now by center of distribution we mean an observation around which most of the values lie. The center is a point in a graphic display where about half of the observations are on either side. Now let us discuss this with the help of an example. And in this example, consider the given distribution of number of miles Jack rode on a bike for six days. And here in this table, in the first column the days are given and in the second column the miles road are given. That is, here we are given that on Monday Jack rode 3 miles, on Tuesday he rode 6 miles, on Wednesday he rode 4 miles, on Thursday he rode 2 miles, on Friday he rode 4 miles and on Saturday he wrote 8 miles. So we have the following observations. And the observations are 3, 6, 4, 2, 4 and 8. which are the number of miles Jack rode on a bike for six days. Now arranging the above data from lowest to highest value we get 2, 3, 4, 4, 6 and 8. Now from this arrangement we can see that the central value is around 4. Now for these observations, let us draw a graph. So for the given observations, we have drawn this bar graph. Now in this bar graph, the first bar shows that on Monday, Jack rode 3 miles. Then the second bar shows that on Tuesday, Jack rode 6 miles. Then the third bar shows on Wednesday Jack wrote 4 miles and so on. Also in this bar diagram the central height of bar is around 4 so it is the center of distribution. Another definition of center is that half of the observations should be below the central value and half of the observations should be above the central value or also known as middle value. And now let us discuss the spread of the distribution. Now the spread of the distribution refers to the variability of the 
data if the observations cover a wide range then the spread is larger and if the observations are clustered around a single value then the spread is smaller now the histogram is the best graphical display to know the spread of observations now let us discuss an example for this now here consider the following distribution of the marks of students now here in this table in the first column the marks in the form of intervals are given to us and in the second column the number of students in the particular intervals are also given to us now here for the marks 0 to 20 the number of students is 5 then for the interval 20 to 40 the number of students is 0 then For the interval 40 to 60, the number of students is 20. For the interval 60 to 80, the number of students is 40. And for the interval 80 to 100, the number of students is 10. That is, there are five students who scored the marks in the interval 0 to 20. That is, there are five students who have scored the marks greater than equal to 0. and less than 20 then you can also see that there are 10 students who have scored the marks greater than equal to 80 and less than 100 and similarly we can see for the other class intervals also now for these observations let us draw a histogram So for the given observations, we have drawn a histogram. Now from the histogram, you can see that there are five students who have scored marks greater than equal to zero and less than twenty. The most students have scored marks greater than equal to twenty and less than forty. Then there are twenty students who have scored marks greater than equal to forty and less than sixty, and so on. also in this graphical representation the observations are concentrated in 60 to 80 marks thus marks are not widely spread so as the marks are not widely spread this means the spread is less also we can find out the range of the spread now in this we can see that range of the spread is from 0 to 40 that is from 0 to 40 number of students now consider this is to be now here you can see that the observations are not concentrated in between any two particular values and 
So observations are distributed throughout the graph. So as the observations are distributed throughout the graph, so we say the observations are widely spread. Now let us see or remark and that is the distribution which is more variable is widely spread and the distribution which is less variable is less spread. Now let us discuss the shape of the distribution. Now the shape of the distribution is described by the following practices. The first one is Symmetry. Now when it is graphed, a symmetric distribution can be divided at the center so that Each half is the mirror image of the other. Now for example, let us consider this histogram in this graph. This histogram is given. And here we can see that this graph is symmetric in shape. Now we have already discussed that a symmetric distribution can be divided at the center so that each half is the mirror image of the other. Now here you can see that the third bar in the given graph is at the center and the bars on either side are mirror images of each other. That is, the last bar is the mirror image of the first bar. The second last bar is the mirror image of the second bar. And this distribution is also called normal distribution. Now let us discuss the next characteristic and that is the number of peaks. Now the distributions can have few or many peaks. Now the distribution with one Peak 
is called unimodal and the distribution with two clear peaks is called a bound modal distribution. Now for this symmetric distribution we have one clear peak. So when a symmetric distribution has a single peak at the center then it is referred to as a bell shaped distribution. On this histogram we have a single peak that is the middle part so it is a unimodal distribution. Now consider this histogram now this histogram has two peaks that is the third and the fifth bar so it is a bimodal distribution. Now let us discuss the concept of skewness and when the observations are displayed graphically, then some distributions have more observations on one side of the graph than the other. Now the distributions with most of your observations On the left towards lower values are said to be skewed right and the distributions with most of their observations On the right towards higher values are said to be skewed left. Now in this histogram most of the values are concentrated to the right towards higher values. So it is skewed to the left. Now let us discuss uniform or flat distribution. Now consider this given histogram Now here we can see that the observations in a set of data are equally spread across the range of distribution So this distribution is called a uniform distribution So here the observations in a set of data are equally spread across the range of distribution
So this distribution is called uniform distribution. And a uniform distribution has no clear peaks. So in this session you have learned about the concept of how a data collected can be represented such that it describes its center, spread and overall shape. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.